Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds in the light heavyweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Simmons' belief that he can overcome anything is showing through. He's bubbling over with confidence. Introducing first, in the middle corner, by way of Brooklyn, Blood Reed. And he's up on the across the way, fighting out of glory, Simmons. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. Watch out, folks. This fight at any point could be over. You know what he offers up. Reeves, a dynamic one shot power puncher. They should call him the shower man because he sends you to the showers early. So we are underway here, and as we talked about it going into this fight, and you really touched on this, Teddy, the biggest edge comes with him in terms of his speed advantage. Yeah, not just with his hands, though. Downstairs with his feet, too. Able to dismiss it. Hey, get out of there. You got to see that coming, champ. Let's go. You got to see that. Able to show you his blocking ability. And he engages in the clinch. Move. To the head he goes with a left hand. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That's okay. Comes right back at him with a left hand. That's a good block by Simmons. Looks to the head. Good step back counter punch there. Precision work with the left hand by Blood. Simmons is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Blocks that blow and then a counter uppercut. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Smart punch right there. The uppercut works. And that's the end of round one. Simmons' corner better explain to him clearly why he lost that last round. His accuracy was way off. Well, if you're looking to need to punch. Detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. Excellent counter punch by Reed. Come on, come on. Reed's quite outspoken, and he should be with that unbeaten record. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Break by an uppercut. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Halfway through round number two. Locks that belt line well. 
Reed's doing a really good job. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. with the straight left. Big shot up top. He really got to him there. Was impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. And we count down the final moments of this round. And the round comes to an end. Reed's performance tonight has to please all of his backers. He has been scoring from the outside. That was the game plan coming in. He understood from the beginning that he had that great wingspan, that great advantage of length, and he's using it. A solid true uppercut by Blood. The left hand coming into play by Simons. Well, you can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Simmons has got a little something coming back at him, a counterpunch score. Blood's doing a beautiful job here early on of counterpunching. Yeah, it's going to pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing, putting money in the bank. Well, counterpunching pays off too because your opponent becomes a little tentative, and then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Let's see some more head movement. a forceful two-punch combo by Reed. Simmons' punch is far off the target. A hammering hook to the head by Blood. You got this, kid. You got this one all day, all day. Is nailed by a shot upstairs. Good combination to the head. A well timed right hand by Blood. And this round comes to an end. As we start round number four, it's clear to see that it's his precise punching that has earned him good grades on your scorecard, Teddy. With all that accuracy, clean, effective punching, he's up three rounds to zip. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if he went to medical school because he's been a surgeon tonight. Reed's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure, anytime you have speed, and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Right hand comes into play by Blood. Halfway through round number four. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Blood. Uppercut got him badly. Keep moving. Keep moving. 
shot. Tackle right. Hand by Reed. Wow! Saved by the bell. That's like something out of a movie here. Yeah, except nobody's coming in there and saying cut. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got flashballs going off in his head. You always say punchers are born, Teddy. But what about a guy's ability to withstand big punches? What about a guy's chin? You know, that's an interesting point. Part of it is physical, and you know what it is? It's the neck. That's the shock absorber, but most of it's mental. You have to want to take the punches. You have to will yourself through the punches. This guy has some will. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to you connect. Nice. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Keep working the body. <laughs> Simmons is just... He is not in good shape. Look at that. Simmons is finding himself on the canvas. Knocked down there. Um. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. Good job getting himself away from the ropes. Simmons finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Reed. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. And round five comes to an end. Blood's plan that his corner put forth throughout all training camp was exactly what we're seeing here. Fighting from the outside, scoring at will. His opponent, they haven't solved it once. And I'm shocked because, you know what? There's tape on this guy. There's video out there. We knew that he was going to fight this kind of fight. How did they not know, and how did they not prepare for it? Well landed, hook by Reed. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Simmons is hurt by a big shot. You got it. Fine-looking right hand by Simons. Simmons doing exactly what he's always done stylistically, Teddy. Now, he was knocked down earlier, so what he always does got him in this position. Yeah, he understands his identity. He understands that, you know, he's going to win or lose the man that he is, the fighter that he is. He just has to make sure that he makes a few adaptations. He throws a big wide punch and leaves himself wide open. Well, it's like leaving your window open in your house. And Reed's hurt. Wow, is he hurt. He was the one doing the hurt just moments ago. Well, he's been reminded about defense. He didn't want that reminder. It just came in the form of a left hook. A well-placed left hand by Blood. Simmons in away. bad shape, away, but he's man. doing the only thing he can at this point. He's tying up. Yeah, but what I'm a little surprised at, and I think what his opponent's going to pay a price for later on, he's letting him tie up. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. And that's the end of round six. Simmons' plan was not supposed to be this result that we're getting here. Now it's later in the fight. 
and his opponent is still able to score with ease out at range. Well, his corner has to think about doing something drastic here. Taking all these shots, this fight is in danger of being stopped. He's definitely going to lose it anyway. Maybe do something I tried years ago with Mills Lane. Believe it or not, bring him over to the corner. Use him a little bit. Use the referee. Bring him over to the corner and say, listen, if he doesn't change, I want you stopping this fight the next round. What an intense left hand by Blood. Simmons showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Halfway through the seventh round. Keep moving. You got to see that coming now. Come on. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. And banging away he goes. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. And he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockout, the winner, Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout.